Hi, this is problem 5 from the 2017 AIM. A rational number written in base 8 is AB point CD, where all digits are non-zero, and the same number in base 12 is written as BB point BA. Find the base 10 number ABC. Okay, this is a numerological base problem, and it's a bit unusual in that the two numbers we're dealing with have decimal points. But this turns out to be an advantage because for numbers that involve a decimal place, we know that both the integer portions need to align and the fractional parts of these numbers also need to line up. So we actually have two equations here that we can make good use of. And let's see how we can work that. So for the integer part, we know that the AB written in base 8 has to equal BB written in base 12 from which we know that uh, 8a plus b is 12b plus b. So that uh, simplifies pretty quickly. And we find that uh, we have a relationship between the digits b and a. b has to equal 2 thirds of a. And the digit a could be something that needs to be a multiple of 3. So this works out to be an integer. So we find out that a has to be possibly 3 or 6 or 9. Actually, 9 doesn't work because these are all digits written in a base 8 number. So these digits all have to be less than 8, and they're non-zero. So these digits all have to be somewhere in the range of 1 through 7. So that's an important constraint. So right off the bat, we know that a has to be either the digits 3 or 6, from which we can then calculate the digit b as 2 thirds of a. So b has to be either 2 or 4. OK, so that's pretty handy. Now let's work out the relationship that the fractional part of these two numbers also has to be equal, from which we find that c over 8 plus d over 8 squared is b over 12 plus a over 12 squared. OK, so let's multiply both sides by 12 squared, see if that simplifies things. So that works out to 18c 9 fourths d is equal to 12b plus a. And we know that b can be written in terms of a. So this reduces to 9a. And that's handy because the factor of 9 appears on both sides of the equation. So let's divide out by 9 to find that 2c plus d over 4 is equal to a. OK, so that's really handy now because this is an integer, this is an integer. So that means d has to be a multiple of 4. It has to be less than 8 because it appears in a base 8 number. So that pretty much tells us now that d has to equal 4. Very handy. So now we know that 2c plus 1 is equal to a. So 2c is equal to a minus 1. So a minus 1 has to be a factor of 2. And the only way that can happen is if a is equal to 3. So here we know that a is equal to 3. Substituting this in, we find that c is equal to 1. a equal to 3 plugged into here implies that b is equal to 2. So ABC is equal to 3, 2, 1. Final answer. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye.